on the EV blog we've been having a discussion about the new Bryman BM789 somebody had purchased one of these and they were essentially overloading the meter in the AC millivolt range and of course the meter was behaving very strangely I went ahead and ran a similar test on several other meters that I have to demonstrate that that problem wasn't unique to the 789 that led to a side discussion about the Fluke 189 that doesn't exhibit this particular problem and that's because the millivolt AC input on this meter is AC coupled where all the other meters that I had looked at are DC coupled and I had set up a demonstration with a few meters where I was putting about uh, 800 volts DC with 20 millivolts or so ripple riding on top of that and trying to display it with this 189 looking at it directly so the capacitor that they use in these meters is rated for 1000 volts somebody then had asked the question if that could cause a problem not so much in damaging the meter but could the meter actually damage another circuit and then somebody else had posted that they had actually had that so I believe what ends up happening with this particular meter and you got the input you probably have your series resistor and then the PTC of course you've got the mob out here we'll just draw it as one mob it's going back to common and then somewhere in here there's a capacitor and this is going to go to one of the switch contacts and this is going to be the millivolt AC switch and then I believe on the back side of this we have our clamp in here I think what's happening you got this thing closed we put a plus 1 kV this clamp is going to be I don't know we'll say 6 volts or something so it's a thousand volts minus six so essentially a thousand volts gets charged across this cap now you take this probe and you hook it up to a sensitive circuit something that can't handle a big transient and essentially we end up with this capacitor in series with I don't know a 2.3 K ohm resistor and the question is is there enough energy here that this could actually damage another instrument now normally when I'm testing these meters I'm using this homemade transient generator to inject those transients into the meter in this case what we're talking about is the Fluke 189 essentially becoming the transient generator so what I'd like to do is just show you how that could actually happen so what I have here is just a string of LEDs and over here we have our homemade ESD gun what I'm going to do is turn this up to roughly a thousand volts close enough so 960 volts so right now this pin right here has got 960 volts on it this pin is ground that's going back to the ground side or the common side of the meter the black lead is going to the one side of our LED bank here we have our plus lead to the meter so what I'm going to do is place the meter in the millivolt AC range and see millivolts AC we're going to take the probe we're going to touch it to the high voltage of our power supply and now we're going to touch it to our LED bank I'll bring the camera in a little closer and let's just leave the lead off for a little bit good enough now let's do the same thing we're in the DC volt mode of course that capacitor should not be selected but we do have the capacitance of the mobs let's see what happens there see nothing and just to show you that this is live there you go 973 volts and you can see nothing same thing if I put it in the millivolts DC mode we shouldn't get anything it's going to engage the clamp but you can see no transient now I'm expecting that if we're in the AC volt mode of course now we've engaged that capacitor we should get a transient off of this but the series impedance is going to change and I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't change the intensity as well as the time that the LEDs are on for so let's just see what happens here yeah you see that so it's a little dimmer because we can't reach the peak current and because the additional impedance it takes a little longer to discharge that capacitor 
See that? Again, we'll go back to AC millivolt mode. See how bright the LEDs just flash? Now, I'm sure you're curious, can I even feel this? I'll bet you I can. So, we're going to do it in the millivolt mode. Give us the most intensity. And let's just see. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the jolt. So sure enough, if you're working on a circuit and you happen to get that capacitor charged up and then you take your probe and you attach it to something that's sensitive to that high voltage, I believe you definitely could damage it. So I think that's going to be it for now. I still have not done anything to blow up the Unity UT61E. You can see it's still functional. Haven't touched it since the last video. So maybe this weekend I'll have some time to take a look at it. Till then, later.